Today, and I thought I would show you the basic hat shape. Um, from this hat shape, you can embellish it any way you like, make any kind of critter hat you like, make any kind of helmet style hat that you want for your bunny so that your critter can have a critter hat. Um, this is made with scraps of yarn. I recommend using the same size yarn that you use to make your bunny and the same sized hook that you use to make your bunny or a half a millimeter larger. So if you used a 4.25 millimeter hook to make your bunny, at the most you'd want to use a four and a half millimeter sized hook to make the hat. But I've had a lot of success just using the same hook that I made the bunny with. And if you haven't had a chance to make your little amigurumi bunny yet, we're going to put the link to that tutorial in the comment box down below. So um, you can either go make your bunny first and then make a hat, because it's helpful to have the bunny to try the hat on while you're making the hat, if, especially if you haven't made one yet. I've made several at this point, um, so I kind of know exactly what I want it to do in my hands. But uh, we're going to start with this really simple one. And then you can just employ your imagination and all the little scraps and embellishments you may have lying around your craft room and go crazy. Make one bunny and multiple hats or make multiple bunnies and they can all fight over one hat. But anyway, we're going to jump right in, so let's get to it. So here we go. Things you need in order to make your army helmet for your bunny. You need the same size hook that you made your bunny with. In this case, I'm using a 4.25 millimeter or a G6. You need a yarn needle, a pair of scissors, and a smaller crochet hook. In this case, I'm going to use a three millimeter crochet hook um, so that I can use a slightly smaller crochet thread in order to make the star embellishment on this <laughs> general's helmet. <laughs> so that's some crochet thread. Um, and you can you could also, I suppose, use embroidery thread or you could use um, just a skinnier worsted weight yarn, a fingering yarn, a sock yarn, a baby yarn, um, anything small and thin and yellow that you might have lying around. Uh, for this helmet, I'm going to use a camouflage. This is a Red Heart camouflage yarn. This is the traditional camouflage color. Um, Red Heart came out with a whole series of camouflages, and one of them was sort of a pinky greeny one. And there was a traditional camo. There were a couple of them. Um, the pink and green one, I absolutely love. And if I can find it again, I'm going to buy a whole whack of it. But anyway, for this one, we're going to use the actual camo. Now, this is a pretty quick tutorial, so I'm just going to leap right in. I'm going to start by using my larger hook, and I'm going to make a cinch circle. And you wrap the yarn around your fingers, grab your hook. Go through the hole, grab your yarn, bring it back, wrap your yarn around your hook, and create a stitch. And that holds your circle in place. I'm going to make my circle a little smaller. Into this circle, much like the bunny, we are going to crochet, single crochet, six stitches. So that's one. And as you know, a single crochet is your hook goes through the circle, grabs your yarn, brings it back so that you have two loops on your hook, wrap around your hook, and pull through those two. That's a single crochet. We're doing six of them. And then we're going to cinch our circle shut. So there's four. And five. And six. And cinch that circle shut. Now, we're going to work directly into the next stitch. So once again, we're going to work in the round. We're not joining at the end of each row. We're going to put two single crochets into the next stitch. Oops. That first stitch is always a bit rough. One and two. Now here's where the pattern gets interesting. Into the next stitch, we're going to single crochet one. 
We've single crocheted. Now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Into the next stitch, so the one next to the one you just worked into, you're going to single crochet once. There we go. Into the next stitch, we're going to single crochet twice. One, two. Into the next stitch, we're going to single crochet once. One, and now we're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to single crochet once into the next stitch. And into the last stitch, which is actually the first stitch of this second row, we're just going to put in two more single crochets. So instead of having an even 18 all the way around, we're going to have 19 stitches all the way around. And that's stitches and chains. Now, this is the top of your hat. The two holes that you created by chaining are the holes that the bunny's ears are going to stick through. And this is how a bunny gets to wear a hat and still keep his ears up nice and straight. So, for the next uh, four rows, we're just going to single crochet all the way around. Um, and now I'm probably going to do four rows. I may do three rows and like they say It's good to have a bunny that you can try your hat on to just in case you're using a slightly larger yarn or a slightly larger hook You don't want the bunny's hat to be so big that it eclipses his face when he puts it on So it's always a good thing to kind of keep measuring it um, I found the best success I've had with this pattern is that from the top meaning the first row, the top row, all the way to the bottom, I've had a total of seven rows. And we're just going to single crochet all the way around. When you get to the chained space, you're going to chain, you're going to single crochet into the chain. So try to get sort of the, 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 the most of that chain stitch that you can. So don't, don't just go through the little top piece. Try to go through the bottom bit of that chain. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but for me, I just like the way that looks when it's finished. And you're going to stick in one more. And don't miss this little stitch here. So you're going to single crochet regularly into that stitch. It's a little awkward, but this is just the slightly awkward row. I'm going to single crochet across these single crochets from the previous row. Okay, and into this funny little stitch here. And then you're going to single crochet into your chains. Make sure you get as much of that chain as you can. And once again, don't miss that one little stitch there, that little tiny one. There we go, and that brings you back to the beginning. Now, like other things I've shown you in the past, your first row is always this, this little top button bit here, and you can tell where your second row starts by, by the spiral point, so where it starts to spiral outwards. So as long as you can identify where that spiral point is, you know that you're always at the, the sort of the, the alignment area that you need to, to think about counting your rows at. Um, and this is also the back of the hat. So the front of your hat is a little bit shorter than the back of your hat. And we're just going to single crochet into each stitch all the way around. And you're just going to keep single crocheting until you have a total of seven rows, top to bottom. But instead of fast forwarding like I normally do, I'm going to let you guys crochet along with me because there are a couple of neat little tricks that we come up on for the last row and I've worked, tried to work out a way to explain it but I realize it's just better if I show you. So if you're a speedy crocheter go ahead and speed up. Put in uh, let's say put in a total of six rows and if you're way ahead of me 
and just uh, hold up until we get to, we all kind of catch up to you. And remember to enjoy the process, because crocheting is as much about making something as it is about zenning out and just being one with the craft. And if you're making this for someone, it's always a good idea to entertain happy thoughts because you want to make sure that you're infusing this thing with as much good energy as you possibly can. And I'm just coming up on the back of my hat again. So I've completed that row. Now, one, two, three, four, five. I'm into five rows. And you know what? Just to be safe, I'm going to try it on my bunny at this point. So you take your bunny and you pull one little ear halfway through and you find the other ear and you pull that way through and then you just pull it down on top of your bunny. Now, that's about, that's about as low as I want it to go on this rabbit and I'm at one, two, three, four, five rows. So I'm going to treat this as my second last row. Now if you guys get to this point and you still feel like you want to go one more, go right ahead, just pause the video do one more row and when you catch up you can start the video again but I'm gonna do my final row now so my final row is actually going to be row six and um, like I say if you want to make yours a little larger go ahead but that's why it's always a good idea to try it on your bunny first so I'm gonna take it back off my bunny thank you for being such a nice model I'm go back over there now my last row starts at the back of my hat. I'm going to single crochet into the next one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to reassess this last row. Three, and four. Now, if I hold my hat so that my, this is the front of my hat, this is going to be what sits above my, my bunny's eyes, and I look at my ear holes and identify the very center of my hat. There should be two stitches right in the very center. And I'm going to count from these two, I'm going to count one, two, three, four. So this, this stitch right here is going to be what I single crochet into. And then this is going to be the ear flap stitch. So now I'm going to chain 11. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And now I'm going to slip stitch all the way back. So into the second chain from the hook, I'm just going to slip stitch all the way back up this chain. And this is going to form the first of the two ear flap ties that you have on your hat. Now if you don't want your bunny's army helmet to have ties, you can just skip this step and just single crochet into that stitch like I showed you and then do this. You're going to slip stitch into that same stitch that you put the single crochet into. So you're going to slip stitch into it and that finishes off the ear flap and the tail. You're going to slip stitch into the next seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And the next thing you're going to do is make the second ear flap. Now I'm going to reassess the front of my I'm going to I'm going to do that ear flap into the next stitch. So I'm going to slip stitch and it's the reverse of what you did over here. So you're going to chain 11 again. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11. You're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and in each of the chains all the way back to the brim of the hat.
and instead of single crochet, or instead of slip stitching, I should say, you're going to single crochet back into that same stitch. And now you're going to single crochet all the way back to your beginning point, which is right here for me. And you now I'm going to do, I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to slip stitch twice. And I'm going to fasten off. There we go. So there's your, <laughs> there's your little army helmet. Now you take your yarn needle and you finish off that tail by weaving it in. fluffs left over you can just trim them off there and that is the basic hat shape now I'm going to show you how to make the little star that I made um, for the other helmet and that's where we grab our crochet cotton which you can hang out with that one and our smaller hook And this is just a series of chains and slip stitches. So you're going to make a slip knot like that. And you're going to you're going to uh, chain four. So one, two, three, four. Into the second chain from the hook, you're going to slip stitch. And you're going to slip stitch into the next two. Now, you're going to chain oops, one, two, three, and you're going to slip stitch back into the second chain from the hook, and then this one, and then the third one, which is the base of your first chain. So one, two, and into the base, three. You're going to do this three more times. So one, Two, three. One, two, three. It's a little finicky, this stuff. One, two, And once more, one, two, three, slip stitch. Oh, heavens. Slip stitch and slip stitch. There. Now, you're going to cut yourself a nice long length because you're going to use this to sew it to your hat. And I'm just going to and off as best you can. There we go. Yeah, I just pull this through the center of the star. There we go. Now you take your star. And you take your hat and you pick a spot right in the middle of the hat, line it up there, and just start sewing it down. Actually, if you want to just pull that one little tail through to the back just so it doesn't confuse you. There we go. Now you're going to pick up stitches on your hat. And you're going to sew your star down like that. So just go all the way around your hat. It's a little tricky, but you'll get it. 
go. And remember to sort of stop every once in a while and make sure that your um, star is going into the places that you want it to. You can want it to be somewhat even. And just continue that pattern all the way around your star. Okay, so I'm just finishing with the star. There. One last stitch. Okay, and take your end <coughs> through to the back of your hat. And if you want, you can sort of knot it with your first little tail. Do, do, do. And trim that, and just take those tails and just weave them in the underside of the hat, just to finish it off nicely. There. And there you have it. <laughs> One little army hat. And I'm just going to put this back on my little bunny. <laughs> there we go. This little guy is ready to play some little war games with his big brother. <laughs> there you go, guys. That is the bunny army hat. <laughs> now you can use this basic hat shape and embellish it any way you want, use any color you want, and you can turn it any kind of critter hat that you like. You can add ears, you can add faces, you can add tails to it, you can do just about anything. But that shape should fit your Amigurumi bunny if you, you made the same bunny um, that we put the tutorial up for. And like I said, we're going to link that tutorial in the comment box down below so you can go make yourself a bunny. And then you can come back here and make him a hat. And that is that. Keep those little comments coming and the suggestions and uh, we will see you again very shortly with another crafty little adventure uh, in which we can all just stitch it up together. And uh, yeah, coming soon. <laughs> Have a great week guys. We'll uh, talk to you very shortly. Bye.